there's Ken Neals on the whiteboard up front. Alex is your bartender, tip him well. If you're feeling hungry, if your tummy's a rumbling, we have nice, yummy, easy, cheesy pizza, courtesy of Marty's Pizza Kitchen. You can order that at the bar. I'm one of your co-hosts, Tyler Bauer. Give it up for me. And I forgot to come up with the funny intro for my co-host, so please just be just as loud for my co-host, the Great Battle from Monty Go 
first two that I want to start on a high note. He's one of the funniest comics in Richmond. I love to see him here. You're going to love him. Please give it up for your first comic of the night, J Ron! <laughs> So much trouble on my mind. <laughs> yeah, I'm stupid. Hey, white people, how y'all doing? What's up, Mason City? Hey, you going on Sleaze and David? Y'all first night here? Y'all new niggas. All right, we got new niggas at the show. I'm just staying wide, man. That's good timing right there. That's, see, that's why you on the goddamn soundboard. I keep trying to tell you, Tyler, you might have missed your calling. You should have played the piano or something. You got good timing. I'm <laughs> Oh, man, I'm trying to tell you, that boy, good. <laughs> Y'all crazy. Shout out to Silver, my nigga Silver, over there on camera. Boy, you do a good fucking job, I tell you. I be watching the videos, you be editing the hell out of this shit. Y'all make some noise for Silver again. Y'all don't know how much work it is editing. <laughs> Shout out to everybody on the date. David, you on a date? That's your lady? You got your lady with you? That's your sister? Oh, that's just somebody you sitting next to, just a random motherfucker. Well, get that man some pussy, he knew. <laughs> new night, new pussy. It's a great night for it, I'm trying to tell you. Uh, everybody like new pussy, it don't matter. I'm just trying to tell you, new pussy is some of the most exciting shit in the world to a man. <laughs> ain't no bullshit. New pussy's so good, women like it too. Look at her, she, yep, me too, I like pussy. <laughs> What region was that accent from? <laughs> I, I don't know. I, it, I looked at her and I was like, she look like she sound like that. Is that me? You better go somewhere and beat your meat. Damn, how did we get that? You know, see, who hit that button? That was the horny bastard. See, that's why he ain't on the damn sound boy. He don't know what button to hit. Turn into some wild ass shit. This motherfucker crazy. Shouts out to y'all, though. Anybody on a date, you know what I'm saying? Dating hard out here now, dude. I mean, this girl been uh, talking not too long ago, and I'm trying to decide if I want to stop fucking with her or not. Now, all the ladies, can y'all tell me if this is a break upable offense or not? Because it ain't super serious, but I just felt like it was a little fucking weird. Yeah, so let, me, let me give you something to, to preface. Go ahead. Yes. yes. Okay, so check this out. I'm talking to the bitch, right? <laughs> Motherfucker gonna tell me. <laughs> She throws, she brings up the fact that when she was a kid, quick pause. Quick pause. She used to suck on rocks when she was little. She used to suck the dirt off of rocks when she was little. Hit the button again. This shit shocked the fuck out of me. I couldn't fucking believe it. I said, bitch, are you crazy? She said, no, I'm anemic. What the fuck does that got to do with it? <laughs> Yo, that, that chick was so hard, bro. I mean, that, that's a good story time. Bro. We need to keep that. That's <laughs> like, I would, you know, I need that shit my everyday life. Hey, you go to work, your fucking leftovers are out of the work fridge. You're just like, now who the fuck, who the fuck ate my food? Y'all take this shit again. You know what I'm talking about? Wait till I figure this shit out. <laughs> I'm just you don't want to do the people that steal suits in prison? I got another one, another story. Hold on, I'm here. I, I found out my homeboy on, on crack not too long ago. Hit the button. Y'all ain't gonna believe this shit. I should have knew something when we was younger. You feel what I'm saying? The nigga used to clean the bathroom oh, off the dough shit. J. Ron, I think I got a better one for you. What? All right, right. Keep going. Right. All right, I'm ready. I'm ready. I'm ready. All right. Y'all, let me tell you this shit. <laughs> I used to help the nigga clean up at his grandma's house. You know how you get the Ajax and C's in the bathtub and shit? This nigga was cleaning up with the door closed. Breathing in all those chemicals. I had no fucking idea bathroom supplies could be a gateway drug. <laughs> Shocked the shit out of me. One minute remaining. Damn. <laughs> <laughs> All right. That's 
all I got. Any questions? <laughs> Thank y'all so much. My name is Jay Rock. Good night. Is that cool with you? Sleeves, I know that's cool with you. All right, y'all ready for the rest of the show, everyone? Yeah. Let's keep it up. Here's your going for your next comic coming to the stage. He was on our first ever showcase here. He's an old man, but he has the soul of a young uh, Asian woman. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Please give it up for Mike Marr, everybody. Yeah. I wasn't going to come up after uh, yeah, Judge no, Judy. Yeah, yeah, no, Jesus. Fine. That's a tough crowd to come up after. Judge don't you Judy. Do, don't you do that, Mike. Don't you do that. <laughs> Judge Joe Brown, you motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> if I'm the old white lady, you the young black man. <laughs> J-Ron was having a cookout. Mike Mark was pissed. Racist. <laughs> Raw potato salad. What else do we want from me? You know? What's in this fucking potato salad, Mike? Oh, okay. <laughs> comment from the crowd. I didn't know J. Ron had a brother. <laughs> <laughs> comment from the crowd. J. Ron looks like a bookmarker in a Bible. Yeah, <laughs> <right>. <laughs> comment from the crowd. Monty's dressed like the ex-husband in a Hallmark movie. <laughs> <laughs> to the crowd. Fuck all y'all. Yeah. <laughs> I'll just play it. I love you. Alright, Mike Mark, go ahead. Alright, yeah, yeah. Hey, speaking of the speed of light, <laughs> I was at DMV. <laughs> and last time I was there, it was years and years and years ago. I sold my Wait bucket of bolts <laughs> to some guy named Barney Rubble. Yeah. And Einstein's theory of relativity was right. Time does slow down in a DMV line. Mike, you were there when they built that motherfucker. Uh, Connor, <laughs> Connor, <laughs> Connor, <laughs> Connor, Connor put that motherfucker together. He laid the foundation. <laughs> <laughs> he knew all the specs of it. Yeah. Hey, so I went and saw uh, Furiosa this weekend at the uh, movie theater. If you get the chance, you should go see that. He almost called it a talkie. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Coming from the crowd, yeah. Mike Mars slowly becoming the skull on his shirts. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Three yeah. more strands of that top hair fall out. It's over, big though. Yeah, I'm next. I'm next. I got the skull. I didn't know if it's a steer or a cow or just bull. That's you. Yeah, that's me. Just bull. Yeah. Bullshit. Bullshit. <laughs> yeah. My dick. Yeah, so that fu Furiosa, I mean, I had, I have trouble saying that word. I don't know if it's because I'm I old. I didn't hear what the word was. Say it again. Furiosa. 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 It's a, it's a, it's a lady's name who's uh, the star. Who cleans your house? <laughs> who what? Who cleans my house? Who's Furiosa? She's the uh, star of the movie, Furiosa. It's okay. a Mad Max. Okay. Keep yeah. Going. It's crazy. It's crazy. <laughs> Mad, 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 Mike, Mad Max is his name if he owned a mattress store. Yeah, I, I like it because when I was in high school, when I would get fucked up, my friends would come up and say, man, you're fucked up is is, is, is hell, man. <laughs> and i go like, yeah, man, I'm fucked up to the max, dude. <laughs> <laughs> Mike built like a friend god mother. Mike Marr planted crack in inner city neighborhoods in the 80s. <laughs> you motherfucker! <laughs> hey, I had to leave something. <laughs> Comment from the crowd, Mike looks like John Voight in Heat. <laughs> Man. Oh, wow. 
Hey, I'm nowhere near John Voight. He's a Trump Trump man. Uh, He's a Republican. Com You're more of a Biden guy. <laughs> Say that's racist. You like Biden because you have the same age. <laughs> Comment from the crowd, Mike's, Mike thinks the movie's crazy because it's in color. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, what do they think of next? Uh, comment from the crowd, Mike, how was it getting fucked up during Prohibition? <laughs> <laughs> One I would get thing. fucked up to the max, yeah. I told you I was old. I did my first performance. Niggas ain't paid a bill. Before... Before language is even uh, y'all gotta pay y'all radio shack. Created. <laughs> yeah. So one minute remaining. Can spit okay. that one out. Yeah. We done talked all through your shit. We saw it, Mike. Go ahead. Yeah. It's okay. <laughs> you ran up here. She was just like, Mike. Mike. For some reason, I just imagine you like on a hamster wheel, just running. <laughs> I just run. Imagine that you like stuff. a cage, <laughs> like a hamster type thing. <laughs> like you're just like having remember, a remember, remember, like remember Tom and Jerry. <laughs> Uh, yeah, remember yeah, Tom and yeah. Remember the Mexican uncle with the white beard that used to show up? No, <laughs> no, no. You don't remember the little Mexican mouse? Some of them don't need a battle corrupto. That nigga. Y'all don't remember? <laughs> you, you two, you two Tom and Jerry mouse. Put that in. Uh, Mike Mars having a mental moment. <laughs> that little cocaine he left, he doing it too. He ain't just leaving. Yeah, Mike Mars still has quaaludes. Yeah. <laughs> Closing thoughts, Mike. Uh, uh, comment from the crowd. Hey Doc, where's Marty? We need you back to the future. Okay, so I feel like I'm in a uh, uh, a uh, split uh, double split uh, experiment here. Martin, you know, I mean, who with these Martin lights and stuff. The old folks home too early. <laughs> So in high school, I called it the double slut experiment. I don't like how you walk close to me when you see <laughs> I'm not appreciate that at all. Mike invented mature naturals. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, wow, that's funny. <laughs> Closing thoughts, Mike, you're over time. I, I'm done. Give me a little Mike Marr, everyone. Mike Marr. Ah, oh, God. Keep sending those comments. Y'all are doing great. Your next comic coming to the stage. Uh, she's a very funny comic. Performs all around Richmond and uh, Virginia and all that shit. She's a little 21 year old, so let's make her fucking cry. Give it up for Holly Bonfall. Hell yeah, she's in timeout now. Don't talk to her for 15 minutes. Your next star will come to the stage. She's uh, a rising star in the Richmond scene. She's so funny. She came to my cookout, and I was just happy she was there. Uh, she, she writes all of her own jokes. No one helps her. She does her own shit, and you're going to love her. Please give it up for Esther. <laughs> You sound more non-binary than me. Gotta fucking compensate now. All right, I, I'll do my classic, my classic opener. This one, this one is an Esther original. All right, Waka Waka. <laughs> all right, all right, stake in my territory. All right, all right. No, sometimes I forget. You know, am I a muppet? Am I a faggot? I am a faggot. Rest assured, no one's hand is up my ass tonight. Thank you, uh, service. <laughs> thank you very much. So yeah, I'm not like the other girls. I want to keep my dick. Um, and, uh... Can I borrow it? <laughs> for, for what? For what, pray tell, Holly? Because I need some dick! Ugh, no thank you. Okay, I'm sorry. I'm not gonna cut off my dick for that. You can, uh, Adam and Eve, though, if you go backslash Esther, you can get 50% off this week only. Um, all right, yeah, but, uh, you know, I'm not like the other trans girls either, because, uh, you know, I only know RuPaul from his fracking work. Uh, He's laughing because he knows what I'm talking about. All right. Okay, though. Yeah, uh, gender's super complicated, though. I mean, personally, like, it took me a while to come out, you know? I mean, it took me fucking forever. I, I really came to translate. I feel like Duolingo. Uh, you know, but really... 
<laughs> Would you fuck the Duolingo bird? I mean, he's asking for it every week. Come back, <laughs> Esther. French me, Esther. I'm learning French. Dude, it is very, the, the Duolingo bird is very incel. He's so thirsty. Uh, I guess you don't want to talk to me. I'll go kill myself now. <laughs> I got an email from Duolingo that said, What's French for quitter? You wouldn't know. Come back to me. <laughs> <laughs> Comment from the crowd. Esther looks like a barmaid in Skyrim. <laughs> yes! Yes! Good job! Oh yeah, a farming roast. Okay, that's why I'm here, folks. That's the only reason. Uh, yeah. Oy. Coming out of a woman is a young man's game. Let me tell you. Ugh, I had to go through so many fucking trials and tribulations. I had to figure out my gender later, and I'd already been socialized with all sorts of shit. I mean, really. I mean, God, there's so much. There's so much that's difficult about being. I'm sorry. There's so much. That's difficult about being trans. Every time. Every time, Basic City. Every time. You ever pass a mirror before? You ever, what? You ever, you ever on your way outside? And you gotta pass a mirror? And you're just trying to go about your day? And then you go, hey, toots. You gotta do it every single time. Every time I pass a mirror, I go, those legs go all the way up every time. It's a fucking impediment. I got better things to do than fucking at wolf whistle myself out the door. And I mean, on top of that, you know, I mean, people treat gender like it's so clear cut, but I spent all this time figuring out what sort of woman I was to figure out that I'm a fuckboy lesbian. Yeah. Like, God, all this fucking effort, and now I'm just an albino stud? That's my lot in life? I gotta tell jokes like, you're gonna love this next one. Uh, coming from the crowd, Esther got Miss Frizzle glasses on. Hey. Uh, coming from the crowd, the peen goblin. Oh, and coming from the crowd, Esther can't whistle. <laughs> uh, one more comment from the crowd, everyone on stage right now looks like a fuckboy lesbian. <laughs> the kind of fuckboy lesbian that'll pick you up from jail. <laughs> yeah, everybody say what kind of fuckboy lesbian you are, Monty? Oh, I'm the one who comes over to fix your sink, but I'm totally staying to fuck. <laughs> yeah, you don't have you don't have tools. I don't know what I'm doing either. <laughs> yeah. And Holly, what kind of what kind of fuckboy lesbian are you? Shit, I don't know. Somebody somebody give me one. <laughs> Holly has no lesbians in her life. Zero lesbians in her life? You don't know the archetype. I don't know how to be a lesbian. Oh, she's lesbian intolerant. <laughs> yeah, they make me pretty gassy, too. <laughs> it's an autoimmune disorder. I'm a corporate lesbian. I don't know, that wasn't that good. <laughs> One minute remaining. All right, but yeah, I mean, you know, this is also tough. I mean, since I came out as a woman, now I have to fake all my orgasms. Hey. Fucking hassle. God, I mean... Because it's not, it's not the equivalent, you know, you just have to be, like, okay, you need to have, you need to have good material to be, this is only going to work for comics, you have to, you have to have good material to uh, fake an orgasm as like a cis woman, but you need to be a prop comic to fake it as someone with a penis, because, okay, let me explain, because, well, before you explain, Miss Doubt, uh, comment from the crowd. Miss Doubtfire and we are Weird Al Young Yankovic's lost child. Yeah, all right. Yeah, you can combine two hack roasts. We can all do that. Uh, comment from the crowd. Holly is a fuckboy lesbian that takes you to Top Golf. Yeah. Thank you. Okay. I love uh, you. Comment, we from, comment from the crowd. White Medea. <laughs> Hello. 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 How are you? <laughs> Hello. 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 Comment from the crowd, Holly is the neighbor at home improvement. <laughs> Wait, why is everyone roasting me now? <laughs> oh. Sorry, Esther, explain that. Oh, oh, how I fit. Well, because coming out of a penis is a visual medium, much like cinema. And you need to, like, you know, actually, I got a buddy. You know, he says that uh, his penis is a visual medium, but a tactile small. Um, <laughs> any, <laughs> any, any whistles. No, um, so what you gotta do, what you gotta do, all right. This is, this requires a, a bit of dykery, okay? You got you gotta, it's like buggery, but with scissors, so it's a little sharper. And you, so you gotta, you gotta get a, you get a little bit of squirt, you get a little bit of squirt, and getting squirt for me, oh, it's like water off a dyke's back, easy peasy, maybe off the front. Um, so you, you get it, and then you put it in your pocket. Now, I don't want it to seep through anything, so I stick it in my asshole. I take my pants off, I put it in my asshole, right? For later. God's I, I put it in my mouth. 
But see, then you can't talk. You gotta gurgle your way through the like. That's come on. That's not. That's not suspending their disbelief. Visual medium, just like cinema. All right, with my cinephiles at Basic City. Anyway, so you Certified fucking cinephile. <laughs> watch, 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 watch. <laughs> Esther, closing thoughts. Oh God. All right. So you. Esther, I do love the fit. You look nice. Thank you very. You're giving like the nanny vibes, you know. Thank you very much. You're like a trans dresser. Thank you. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Well. Fuck. I can't. I was just gonna say you pull it out. You know, bada bing, bada boom. It's like a garnish. That's better than what I got. Thank you, everybody. I've been Esther. Quick while I clean this up. Sorry, I'm the gavel too hard. Sleeves, how you doing? Need more beer. All right, everyone, uh, get it, get more beer. Someone get sleeves some more beer before he starts. He gets angry when he turns into cut off sleeves. He flips tables. <laughs> Holy shit! Wait, the other night is the other. Doesn't he look like Big Ed? Yeah. Hell yeah! I thought that would get more of a pop, but cool guys. How's everyone doing? They were still in fun. Hell yeah. Alright, let me do let me do a thing real quick. Uh, who's been coming here for, for more than one show? Who's like second show is this? Okay, who's who's been coming here for like a month? Yeah. Who's been coming here for a year? Woo! Who's been coming here for two years? Yeah. Who's gonna come to our three year anniversary in July? Woo! Three fucking years doing this. I have no idea how he did this, but I'm very thankful for it. I'm very thankful for Tyler with all of his napkin wonders and everything. What we're talking about Tyler Batra, right, everyone. Woo! Uh, follow Comedy RBA on Instagram for all the local shows going on. There's a bunch of good shows. I'm on a show tomorrow at Jack Brown's, uh, the Cowbell Comedy Show hosted by Emily Erblin. Give it up for Emily one time. And tonight, uh, the ticket link will be going up for the next Basic City Showcase happening June 9th. It's going to be $5 tickets, $10 tickets day of. Hell yeah. We have a very good lineup. We have uh, Lucy Benino, local Richmond legend. We have Mary Jane French, uh, producer of uh, Traverse Comedy. We have Grace Moyer. You're going to see her tonight. Uh, we have Will Miner. Who else did you pick? We got Will Miner, Addison Hall, and D-Lo B. Hell yeah. All right. So be on the lookout for that. All right. Are, we, are you ready to keep the show going, everyone? Let's get energy back up for your next comic coming to the stage. He's a very good friend of the show. Been doing comedy for a couple months. Been getting better and better. Please give it up for Damian Anderson. One, two, one, two, yes. Yeah. It's King Pedra. The bottom of the forces and not either. All right, let's wrap this shit up. I'm drunk. I got to piss. I'm sorry. <laughs> Everybody say, O.V. Ho! O.V. Ho! Now, I, I love that. I love that that rap beef happened because now black men can pretend that ang black dudes writing poems angrily at each other isn't like a little bit sus. Like, it's great. I hit it like I'm young. Oh. <laughs> Holly? <laughs> nah, what's good, white people? How y'all doing? Holly does not like black guys. <laughs> I think I can make a safe assumption on that. Well, the last name, like, Bomb Folk, I, I guess. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah, the Bomb Folk clan does not. Bomb Folk, it just said, get away from me, nigga. <laughs> I'm pretty sure I killed the Bomb Folk clan in Red Dead Redemption one time. <laughs> oh, yeah, white people, how y'all doing tonight? I can tell y'all some cool white people. I can tell each of y'all had, like, a friend, like a, like a person of color friend that your parents were way too proud, like, they were way too proud of for some reason. Like they couldn't wait to bring up like what they were doing to you. They're, and like the inverse of that for me is having a white friend that I could always get away with shit with. Shout out my boy Tyler. Yeah. For context, me and Damien have known each other since like fifth grade. Yeah, Yo, I got a question though. <laughs> That's very, very, you know, it's a serious question, guys. Shut the fuck up. God. This is question for you. Is nigga non binary? <laughs> oh, no, 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 I got a better question, guys. I got a better question. I got a better question. Got a better question. Who watched The Wiggles? Yeah. Everybody grew up watching The Wiggles? Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. That's a weird show for me to, like, remember growing up because, like, I can't remember if that's, like, like, I watched that show. 
like growing up before school and shit. But I like it scares me because like I don't want that show to be the show like that calmed me down as a kid. Like my parents thought it was a good idea to have five white men <laughs> serenading me before school and it calmed me down. Like I don't know, I think that's weird. Comment from the crowd, I am Groot looking ass. <laughs> You do look like a bunch of Slim Jims tied together. Are you gonna bring up the cinnamon man too? I feel like I feel like if you cut your hair, you could put it in milk and it would turn it brown. <laughs> Yo, hold on. Was that your white sound? What? Racist. Was that racist. I can't hear you speak up. That was kind of racist. And they don't have no more for that. I wish. Comment they... from the crowd. Why does Damien's head look like the silhouette of SpongeBob's house? <laughs> You do look like Patrick Starr is living under you. That's the wrong character, nigga. It works both ways. <laughs> One thing I feel like that I'm getting a lot right now that we don't talk about enough is microaggressions. Yeah, or whatever. And they don't have no for that. Let's talk about micro machines. Remember those? Sorry, go ahead. <laughs> yeah, we don't, talk about, we, don't talk about, water. we don't talk about our favorite microaggressions. Or whatever word white liberals want to call being an asshole next. Like, I don't know. I don't know what to call it. But um, my favorite microaggression is when they people, white people talk about my hair. And they don't have no more for that. And then just say I just look like some random rapper that doesn't have a buzz cut. You know, like I've been told I look like J. Cole because I'm clearly biracial. <laughs> no, or, black and black. The hey, man, tell the white people. I don't know. <laughs> Or I'll get a Denzel Curry or some random ass nigga. I think you look like the cinnamon stick in the Apple Jacks commercials. <laughs> He's not a rapper. Monty looks like the Apple. <laughs> I love how I love how I brought that up. I love how I stopped doing backflips. I love how I brought that up and you didn't register it and then you did the joke. I love it. My teeth don't call I'm One minute remaining. Nah, I think I'm gonna join school shooters now. <laughs> Hell yeah. I, got one, I got one minute, I got one minute, let me just do that one. Yeah. <laughs> Coming from the crowd, the fuck up is, is up with Tavian's hair, he looks like a random rapper, wow. <laughs> <laughs> Coming from the crowd, uh, you look like Gotta A. Cole. I don't know what that means. Yeah, that was some kind of J. Cole. Comment right? from the crowd. Monty's half black, so it's okay. You're goddamn right. I'm just dead. Nope. Oop. Yeah. Oop. Rock button. I have a dream. There we go. Yeah. I'm not just a white man. You know, I can't wait. I can't wait until my future biracial daughter brings home her white twink of a fiance home to dinner so I can just call him the hard R when I meet him. That's it, that's all I wanted to say. Damien Anderson, that was good, or Damien Anderson. All right, keep giving some beer, keep drinking. We got a, lot, a whole lot of show left. Your next comic coming on stage is one of the funniest comics in the Richmond scene. I love them, you're gonna love them. Please give it up for Cade Wonder. What's up, base? Okay, so we got sleeves. Hey. What's up? What's up Are you just a dude? <laughs> <laughs> Nothing interesting about you aside from your name is Sleeves. I said what I said. I bet he's a cool bodyboarder. Yeah, that's his name. <laughs> Boogie boarder? <laughs> no, like no bodyboarding. Boogieboarding's cool. His body is the board. <laughs> but uh, <laughs> <laughs> who's next to you? What's your name? Colton? <laughs> you need to change your name. <laughs> yeah, can you be Pouch? <laughs> All right, what's your name? Joe. No, not you, bitch. Behind you. Oh. Hey, Lane, what? That's a hammer. What? Rob. Rob? Ew. Joe. Joe? <laughs> <laughs> we got Chub Rub Sleeve Cut. That's nice. You guys look like you're like, uh, there's a reason I haven't taken out of this yet, don't worry. Uh, you guys look like you're cosplaying uh, clerks. Yeah, I like that. All right, I kept this in here because we're gonna do a little, we're gonna do a little clap along because it's almost, 
It's almost June. Uh, real quick before you do that, yeah. uh, they look like a manager at an ice cream shop. <laughs> <laughs> you do look like you're made of soft serve. <laughs> I've been called the Pillsbury Doughboy. Um, okay, so it's almost Pride Month, which means that next time you come, every straight man that you've seen tonight is gonna come up here and ask you to clap for Pride. That's not true. It's true. I didn't say, so it. true. I didn't, I didn't say it's that. It's so that true. That was, that was the black guy. No. <laughs> That's not true. <laughs> so, before, before they can do that, we're gonna do a little uh, call and response, okay? So we're gonna spell something out. I'm gonna say, ready? Let's get a little bit faggy. F-A-G-G-Y. Say it with me. Let's get a little bit you're not allowed to say that, Sleeves! I think Sleeves is allowed to. <laughs> That's what I was asking, like, is that a dude, or...? Sleeve, sleeve, is, sleeve is the mascot for bears. Oh, you're right. Wait, are any of you gay? <laughs> yeah, should I thank any of are you? Are you, are you checking your phone for Grindr? <laughs> it's 9-11. Hey! <laughs> Got it. Yo, describing your Grindr as 9-11 is crazy. <laughs> I'm knocking them down. Next thing you know, another one goes down. Another one. Coming from the crowd. You know he runs in Auntie Anne's like the Navy. I'm glad I'm seen as a good business owner, you know? Making that money. Uh, does anyone, uh, any of y'all on sleeves, are you dating anyone? Nah. <laughs> I'm trying to be found the any, right Is thing. anyone dating in here? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I wish. What's up? I have to make a tender tonight. Oh, please don't write in all caps like that. Jesus Christ. Yikes. Yeah, don't, don't make a tender. I think I need to put myself back out there. <laughs> I think I'm ready to love one more time. I'm a young professional looking for love. I know I actually really need a number on me, but I'm ready to be vulnerable. <laughs> I'm not looking for anything serious right now. I just want to start casual. It would just be nice to get out and meet someone again and not feel so lonely. I want pussy so bad. Please, please, please. Jetsons. <laughs> Hell yeah. Hell yeah. It is. Uh, anyway, I do have love in my life, Joe. Fuck you. I'm married, bitch. Yeah. That sounds really nice. I'd like a commitment in my life as well. It's really nice. I'm very happy that people of your Anyway, uh, as someone... What's her name? I'm sure she's lovely! <laughs> no, that nigga is dying. <laughs> Sleeves loves well, it. I mean, not nigga, but yeah, you know, Yeah, no, he's just, he's just a dude. He's just a dude. Turns out Sleeves is also non-binary. <laughs> non-binary. That's why I was hoping. Anyway, uh, I do have love in my life. Well, an important thing about having someone in your life is that you need to be able to argue with them. You gotta be able to fight and, you know, progress your relationship and shit. Oh, and I've been getting a lot better uh, at arguing with my wife, actually. The other day, she was saying something to me. I don't know what she was saying, but she said something. I think it was something like this. Have you ever been swallowed <laughs> up? <laughs> no. Anyway, she said something, and I said, I looked at her, I said, you wouldn't say that to me if I was six foot. Oh, uh, yeah, you are a dude for real. That's <laughs> <laughs> <Some> crazy shit. <laughs> and then uh, she laughed and walked away. But my, yeah. my, my goal height was... Anyone have a goal height growing up? <laughs> Woo! No, I'm perfectly fine. Mine was... <laughs> I'm perfectly Monty's fine. perfectly fine at 5'6". <laughs> <laughs> I am not 5'6". I am 5'7". <laughs> He's 5'6 and a half. Three quarters, you piece of shit. <laughs> Three quarters. Uh, I just wanted to be 5'4". That's it? Yeah, I just wanted, I had a Washington Capitals poster, and I measured, it was signed, back when they weren't good, and I marked where 5'4 was, and I checked every day in middle school to see if I was there yet. 
And I drew the same line three inches under it every day. <laughs> Comment from the crowd, Cade looks like a dad on a cruise. That's how they always dress. Comment from the crowd, Cade is Benjamin Button at 80. <laughs> Comment from the crowd, if the, if, the, if the plot of Big happened to Dennis the Menace. <laughs> You guys were good tonight. That was nice. That was nice. All right, my name's Kate Wonders. Let's get Money Jones back up. Here. Yeah. Hey, do you have any shows coming up? Uh, yes, if you live in Midlothian, I have a show there. I'm on Pride Game of Jokes, and I'm at Coalition next Thursday at 7.30, being gay. Well, hell yeah. One more time for Kate Wonder, everyone. <laughs> Kate is also the host of the gayest show on Earth. When is that coming July 18th. Out? July 18th. Mark your calendar. It's a very, very fun show. One more time for Kate Wonders, everyone. <laughs> Alright, your next couple coming to the stage. They're also going to be on the uh, Game of Jokes this Saturday. They also are one of the co-hosts of the Roost Show coming up. Be able to go for that. Please give it up for the very funny Rod! So like tonight, Roz does look like the ninth grader in every John Hughes movie. <laughs> Like, they've been sent on a mission by the older kids to steal panties. <laughs> Jesus fucking Christ. Uh, I actually am on a mission right now to steal panties because I haven't done my laundry in two weeks. <laughs> Just trying to find a clean pair, y'all. Uh, hello, Basic City. How are y'all doing? Yeah. Oh, good energy tonight. How are you doing, sleeves? Oh, your sleeves. Hey. You know... I think it's kind of weird that they're making like a big fucking deal about your name. Um, but I guess I'm a little desensitized because I'm trans. So like... Thank you for your service. The name Sleeves is just generic to me now. That's, like, what, that's what I wanted. Like, like, I wanted him to be like a non-binary yes. hero. Like I was getting my hair cut by my gay barber the other day and he's, he's giving me my fade and he's like, oh my God, so I was talking to our friend Gravy the other day. <laughs> I was like, who's Gravy? <laughs> he was like, oh, I just assumed you would have known Gravy. I'm like, comment, yeah. comment from the crowd. Why is uh, Roz dressed like a milk carton? <laughs> yeah. I don't get it. It's lukewarm. It's fine. It's fine. Roz looks like they should be on a GTA loading screen. <laughs> My city, bitch. <laughs> We have the same gay barber, and that gay barber was also telling me about gravy. Yeah, see? See? Comment yeah. from Kale Moore. My non-binary name would be Buzzsaw. <laughs> they should make one of those things that's like the month you were born and the day you were born, but it's non-binary name. Yes. Yes, I agree. Yeah. What would Monty's be? Crow. Uh, crow. <laughs> <laughs> crow. <laughs> Bar, but two separate ones. Crowbar, hell yeah. yeah. I'm That's gonna good. Cry. Yeah, you do. Mine's M4A1 assault rifle. <laughs> <laughs> Played a lot of Counter Strike going up. That's what I uh, fuck with. <laughs> Tyler, Tyler's got fake pronouns in his bio. They just pew pew. <laughs> <laughs> Comment for the crowd. Roz looks like a vaporwave album cover. <laughs> That's the goal. Comment from the crowd. Roz looks like Richard Belzer. <laughs> I don't know who that is. Comment from the crowd. Uh, I fuck with their haircut, though. Plug the barbershop. <laughs> Yo, Kit Spada at Euphoria Kit Studios. Kit's great. Kit's Good great. Shit. It has all the tea. Yeah. Um, oh, my God. So much. All the tea. Um, all right. Uh, I want you to be really honest with me, Sleeves. I want you to be brave. Can you be brave? Can you be honest? Have you ever in your life measure your penis? No. no. Liar. You never? Okay, who, raise your motherfucking hand if you have measured your penis at least once in your life. Thank you. Thank you, brave and honest penis havers. Okay. He's a meat stretcher. I am a stretcher. Now do you start? Where do you start? Hallelujah. I feel like growing up, some of my biggest gender dysphoria was about the fact that I couldn't measure my vagina. 
It was fucked up. How do you, how are you supposed to do that? Hand. Hand, see. Use the hand proxy. See, I feel like your hand. hands are so small. <laughs> You'd be like, yo, my dick's huge. <laughs> yeah, Kate is a gynecologist for hamsters. <laughs> Jesus fucking Christ. They need medical care too. <laughs> I don't think, I don't think they have specific, imagine going to school specifically for hamster gynecology. <laughs> <laughs> think about how little the stirrups would be. <laughs> that would be so adorable though. A pap squeak? Okay, I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. Thank you. Ow. That was nice. Uh, <laughs> That's what it sounds like? I... I swear to God, I uh, I don't know, I was really jealous and so I, I came up with an idea that I think a lot of you will be interested in to see, like measure your vagina, right? So you can talk to your friends about it and brag. Um, the most efficient thing I could think of is like, a, like you know when you're checking the engine oil in your car? Like a dipstick kind of situation. <laughs> One minute remaining. I call it the lipstick. Uh, if you ask your OBGYN to describe it, they will. Fun really? Fact. Yeah, dude. I don't I don't know if they want to know. Mm, that's fair. You know? Yeah. What does OBGYN like... stand for? Is that Vitaly the Creator Group? Only, <laughs> only bitches getting your nasty. <laughs> <laughs> Correct. Uh, all right, I'll leave y'all on this. Um, I, I started having sex with women, which is uncommon. Thank you. Thank you. I think it's made me a superior person. Um, I, I started having sex with women, and I feel like it gave me a, a weird thing when I started having sex with men as well, because like the, the transference is not one-to-one. -one. Like, I didn't know this, but apparently he doesn't like it when you suck his titties. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> a nipple's a nipple, folks. All right, well, I've been Roz, you've been lovely. Let's get your host back up here. We get that Star Hill Brew River in Scott's edition. It's Hell a very yeah. fun show. Hell yeah, and uh, the Roots show on June 15th at Benchtop Brewing. Make sure to check that out. One more time for Roz, everyone. All right, we got a couple comments left. Let's keep the show going. Are y'all still having fun out there? Yeah. Hell yeah, thank you for hanging out with us. All right, your next time coming to the stage. It's the first time here, everyone. Uh, I don't know how long we've been doing comedy. I think we're from out of town. So let's give a very big warm welcome to Ayush Patodio. Hell yeah, one more time. Yo, what the fuck is going on, Richmond? Yeah. Come on, I need more energy than that. What's going on? Nice. Did you let only lesbians sign up tonight? Yeah, yeah that's right. That's right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I did go to that Chapel Room concert. It was fire. It was fire. I bet you did. It was fire. I bet you did. I know you're not wearing an undershirt under that. that is that's crazy. right, baby. Uh, that's right. sweaty as shit. That's right, baby. No, I shaved. I shaved. There's <laughs> no sweat going on. Yeah, I, uh, I grew up, uh, my family grew up running a hotel. So, you know, it was kind of like the sweet life of Zach and Cody, but with Indian parents, it was kind of like, you, you had child labor and no fun shenanigans going on, you know? Um, uh, comment from the crowd, he looks like Milo from Atlantis. Oh, that's a compliment, bro. What the yeah, fuck? That's a that, hard compliment. That motherfucker's hot. He's what inspired my haircut. Yeah, <laughs> that's for real. That's comment for real. from the crowd, what the fuck is with his mustache? <laughs> I'll get to it, okay, motherfucker? I'll get to it. Wait, I don't get it. Can you turn around? I don't know. It that. just looks like a mustache. Yeah, I like the stash. Fuck you. Um, <laughs> you know, my dad loves watching the show Ancient Aliens. He says it's because, you know, he thinks it's real, but uh, I think he just likes when motherfuckers start talking about him. <laughs> yeah, we get it. He built the ancient pyramids or whatever, okay? Whatever. <laughs> um, you know, growing up brown, 
you hit a point in puberty where you haven't shaved yet, but you're still growing facial hair, so you kind of look like the pedophile and the pedophile, like the sex offender and sex offendee all at the same time. Wake up in the morning. That's the wrong like fucking sound. <laughs> you gotta hit the pedophile sound. Anyways, I don't have to do anything, sir. Obama. <laughs> Alright, alright. How about that? I was, I, so I'd be 13 with the mustache. I'd have to go to middle school, but I wasn't allowed 50 feet within a middle school. <laughs> Thanks. A man drove up in a white van and he asked where all the kids were, and I said, motherfucker, I'm right here. Give me that fucking Twix bar, bro. And then, uh. Wake up in the morning feeling like PD. I'd be jerking off when I was 13, and I'd be scared Chris Hansen comes in. He's like, are you here to see a 13-year-old? I said, Chris, I am the fucking 13-year-old. Obama! All right, all right, all right. Growing up Indian, you know uh, Comment from the crowd. This boy makes a sweater vest look good, low-key. Where does he shop? <laughs> yo, 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 this was thrifted. This Stop was thrifted. Stop flirting with him. Comment, comment. Keep me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Comment from the crowd. He looks like he's in the lesbian army. That's right. I'm the. I can't say I'm the chief. That would be. Comment from the crowd. I used to be having fun until this guy got on. All right, all right, all right. All right. Comment from the crowd. Brown Jeffrey Dahmer. Whoa, 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 whoa. I mean, I mean, hey, if I could get some sleeves tonight, that would be great. Sleeves. Fuck yeah, bro. Fuck He's yeah. a meat stretcher. He'll stretch your feet. Hallelujah. That's right, baby. Growing up Indian, you know, I only had like three career choices. I could either be a doctor, engineer, or a lawyer. And you I chose was, lesbian librarian. That's right, baby. A so I, I was in high school theater, and I said, Dad, I want to be an actor. He said, no, son, it's pronounced doctor. I said, Dad, I want to be a comedian. He said, you should try engineering. I wanted to see if he was paying attention. So I said, Dad, I want to be a male stripper. He said, Beta, you don't have the bill for that one. You, you need the motion of the ocean, baby. You don't want that. Okay. <laughs> Comment from the crowd. I swear to God, this is not even racist. He's dressed like Aladdin. <laughs> all right, all right, all right. Stamp, brother. That's our club of the week. Kind of stamp. Someone dressed like Aladdin. It's crazy. Me and Holly are the same age, though. That's kind of wild. That's kind of wild. I'm 21. I'm uh, I'm young. I just got broken up with. Um, oh. I know. I know. Getting broken up with is tough, but I've realized that breakups are a lot like adult circumcisions. I mean, you did make your third wish. What did you expect? <laughs> <laughs> That's the Aladdin bit, right? Um, One minute remaining. Comment know, from the crowd. He looks like the shrimp from Finding Nemo. <laughs> the shrimp? Oh, that's dirty, bro. That's dirty, bro. Nah. Comment from right. the crowd. Same age as Holly. Does she like brown boys? No. We went Jesus over this. Christ! Who no, the fuck no, no. We went over this. She's racist. No, wait. That was the old guy. That was the old guy. Yo, well, I mean, there are a lot of race people who come on the show. <laughs> yeah, 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 fair enough, fair enough, fair enough. But don't worry, you're safe. Thank you, thank you, thank you very much. Totally cool. All right, I forgot, I forgot. We're so I'm okay going. with this. Let me fucking end my set, dog. No, just... <laughs> you're right, I am sorry, brother. <laughs> no, I'm playing with you guys. You guys have been great. My name is Ayush. Thank you, guys. <laughs> Ayush, where are you from? Jesus Christ. Blacksburg, Virginia. Blacksburg, oh, did you go to Tech? Yeah, but I grew up in Blacksburg, Virginia. Okay, cool. Uh, do you do mics up there? Yeah, yeah, we do, we do. Okay. I run, a, I run a comedy club at Virginia Tech. He runs a comedy club at Virginia Tech, AKA he has a college club. That's right. Uh, what's your, do you have an Instagram you wanna push or anything? Yeah, APAT underscore comedy. All right, make sure to follow that one more time for you, everyone. Thank you for joining us, brother.
right, your next comment coming to the crowd. Uh, she's going to be on our showcase coming up June 7th. Make sure to check that out. It was her birthday last week. Uh, she's a very funny comic all around town. You're going to love her. Give it up for Grace Moyer. Hey, hey, Guys, I don't want to brag, but I actually know Sleeves. <laughs> and by I know him, I mean I was at stalker? a... No, I was at another comedy show where everybody made jokes about his name. <laughs> yeah. Uh, they were talking about Pride Month. Uh, give it up for Pride. Wow. Yeah. I, we, got, we got the Wendy's faux 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 lesbians up here. <laughs> Period. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I gay also. Yeah. Thank you for your service. You're welcome. It it is actually uh, by choice, you know. Um, Cause like it's like anytime I see a Republican say that sexuality is a choice, that's how I know that they're just bi and choosing straight, you know? Pro-choice includes bisexual's choice of however gay we want to be. Yeah, I, I still have straight thoughts sometimes, I just don't act on them anymore because that's gross. <laughs> that's I'm not a gay sin. anymore! Uh, I used to sleep with men, but I don't anymore. Hell yeah, Grace. Comment from the crowd. What what does Grace know about sleeves? Look at her shirt. <laughs> <laughs> Whoever wrote that, fuck you. That was awesome. <laughs> I like how you say whoever wrote that as if you don't know. Oh yeah, it's, I'm not violating HIPAA laws. <laughs> I, I appreciate the confidentiality. Um, yeah, I, I do choose gay. Uh, <laughs> yeah, we're back on the gay stuff. Uh, Thank you for your service. You're welcome. Uh, yeah. I, I used to choose straight. Uh, a lot of people say men are dogs, but for me, men are more like cats. Meow. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Cause. <laughs> Should I be able to meow in a wife beater too? <laughs> Stop it! I'm allergic to cats. Yeah, you know it's. <laughs> Sometimes I see one and I'm like, oh, that's cute. I wish I could touch it, but I know if I do, I'm gonna start crying. Amen, brother. <laughs> Comment from the crowd. Comment from the crowd. Hey, you up? <laughs> that's funny. <laughs> Grace, you look like a waterbender in the M. Night Shyamalan Avatar. <laughs> White? <laughs> what? <laughs> I have a dream. All right, Grace, go ahead. <laughs> comment from the crowd. You're the, you're the comic on stage. Comment from the crowd. Uh, Ayush looks like Professor from Powerpuff Girls, and Grace looks like Bubbles. Oh. All right, you guys are too wholesome. What the fuck? Comment, on. All right, comment from the crowd. That's Aladdin and White Jasmine. <laughs> All right, bro. Hold up. Hold up. She's allergic to cats. You don't got no fucking tiger. Hey. You guys have got plot holes. Through the roof, bro. Okay, but also that was some real nerd shit to say. Are you yeah, me yeah, on, yeah, right. Thank you for uh, calling me Jasmine. Um, she meant a lot to me as a little gay kid. And now she's in the Senate as Kamala Harris. <laughs> you think you just fell out of a coconut tree? <laughs> One minute remaining. Oh, good. Um... Comment from the crowd. White Jasmine is my favorite kind of tea. <laughs> Comment from the crowd, I hate her shoes. <laughs> Who 
Do I actually like sucking dick, or do I just like being told I'm good at something? Yeah. <laughs> That's my time. Clock now. Oh, oh my God, the greatest boy to everyone! All right, there are two comments I just have to read real quick. Uh, comment from the crowd: Richmond bisexual white Jasmine. She definitely has a magic carpet winky face. Uh, coming from the crowd, Grace is dressed like she works on the Bush Gardens River Dancing Team. <laughs> coming from the crowd, coming from the crowd. I thought it was basic city comedy, not basic bitch comedy. Damn. That's disrespectful. <laughs> and final comment from the crowd, Grace is dressed like uh, is dressed for the Olivia Rodrigo meet and greet. All right. <laughs> We got a couple more comics. Thank y'all for riding out with us. Sleeves, you still doing all right, brother? All right, the rest of your underlings, are y'all doing all right? Hell yeah. Everyone else, y'all doing all right? Woo! All right, next time we come to the stage, he is the host of the Barrel Room Open Mic at the Barrel Room, at the Arden Barrel Room. Next show is next Friday. Come check it out. A lot of funny comments are on that. Please give it up for Will Miner! Shit. And on David, I love you, David. Nobody's been talking to you. Keep it going for sleeve, everybody. And keep it going for your host and all your people. God damn it, you are mean to Grace. Holy shit. Come on, just because she's dressed like a background character and she's the man, that doesn't mean you can be mean. Or a background character in the uh, high school musical, literally any of them. Grace was talking about, uh, oh man, you know, Grace, I also had to stop having sex with men. I also had to stop having sex with men. <laughs> I do miss sucking dick, though. God damn, I miss sucking dick. I miss chugging schlong. I remember you was conflicted. Oh, I miss, I know, god damn it. I, god damn, I know, I was like, you know, I was learning from Grace, I was like, oh, that is how I go down on a girl. I'm just like, I'm like a nutcracker when I go down on a gal. Like, nang, 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 Hey, bro, come on now, I know, that's too much. I'm just kidding. Oh, I, oh, I'm just kidding. I give blowjobs the same way I do everything in sex. I just copy what the woman does. Coming from the crowd. When it's I give a blowjob, it sounds like I'm taking a bone grip. <laughs> Comment from the crowd. Will looks like friendly Hitler. <laughs> <laughs> he got all the Jews in the train to take them to Bush Gardens. <laughs> Hey, Mussolini, time. calm down! Okay, never mind. That's a history reference. That's what I'm going to talk about. One more comment from the crowd. He looks like the National Geographic article on what the average American, or sorry, Richmond male will look like in 2050. I thought. 
hell yeah, big button and long hair. The qualities of a lesbian. Nice. Yeah. Comment from the crowd. Tell Richard Petty to stop sucking dick, please. <laughs> okay. I don't know who that is. Oh boy. I wish I was somewhere else. Oh god. <laughs> I just go back to rapping. Oh boy. Trying to strike a chord and it's probably Will Minor. <laughs> Yeah, I can rap too. Hell yeah. If only I was funny, I'd tell the joke. <laughs> the groans from the crowd and all that. I know. I'm having straight thoughts. <laughs> what else do I want to talk about? Okay, actually, here's what I want to talk about. Uh, okay, I work in a building with an elevator. Clap it up if you have a building with an elevator. Does anybody know how long an elevator ride takes? Long. I found out today because I got stuck in the elevator with my ex girlfriend. I know, right? I really. Shouldn't have been hammering that closed button door. She walked towards it. That was probably not a cool move. I probably shouldn't have let her saw that. It was just, I don't know, it was so fucking awkward. It was so palpable. I shouldn't have pushed all the buttons. I couldn't help myself. But no, seriously, like, I really did have it. I was at work, and it was like, it was one of my ex-girlfriends, and we were in there, and my ex, for like, hindsight, like, my ex is like, as tall as I am, so like, and her, I mean, her new thing is like, down here. So we were just standing there, and we both locked eyes, and I just looked at her. She looked at me, we looked over her partner, I just looked down at him, I looked up at her, and I was like, God damn, this guy has a huge penis. Is that says to self deprecating Never mind. He has a very small dick, he's a super small cock, I fucked him in front of her, what should I say? I grabbed him, I collated him in front of her. Sure. <laughs> it's your mom's penis. It's your mother's huge throbbing cock. That's my screen <laughs> Oh man, I don't have a quick one to get out on. I don't have a quick one, I don't think. Oh man, uh, did you hear the uh, president of Iran died? Did you all hear the president of Iran died? Yeah, he got uh, stoned to death by a mountain. Holy shit. Huh, Iran? More like he ran into that mountain. Alrighty, I'm gonna leave now. Goodbye. <laughs> Well, All right, we're reaching the final stretch of the show. Thank you for hanging out with us. Your next comic on the stage. He's a very, very funny comic. He's a TikTok superstar. So please check yourself and give it up for Lars Hamlet. What happened to Chingy, man? Chingy had a little run. Then he started fucking with the little transsexual or whatnot. But he ain't really do that. She lied on him and fucked his career up. That's kind of fucked up. Chingy had a lot going on, man. I saw on the news today, Diddy starring in a movie with Tyler Perry. It's called Medea Goes to Pound Town. I thought about that at work today. I'm glad y'all enjoyed that one. I heard she was, I heard Tyler, it was Tyler Perry was starring as Anne Frank in a new biopic. Are you about to do one of your bits? I am. You <laughs> fuck I, I was about to do one of my bits. I was like, what the fuck? I thought I heard something about Anne Frank before. <laughs> I was trying to make the correlation. I want to play that off like, wow, this just came to me. <laughs> <laughs> I can't let it happen. There's something in me I can't let Monty do his bits. Wow. Hey, so sometimes, hey, sometimes you gotta have like pre, you know what I'm saying, pre thought out. Yeah. Pre-com, not pre-com, no, you don't have to have pre-com. What do you got? You got pre-com. Mm -hmm. I despise, despise pre-com. <laughs> Ban pre-com. I, 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 I feel like all too much to be playing around with pre-com. Wouldn't you be mad to say if you know you pull it out and still get them pregnant, like that damn pre-com strikes again? <laughs> well, they say you can get pregnant from pre-com. Isn't it just cum at that point then? Nah, it's still pre-com. Comment from the crowd. Laz just came from a ditty party. <laughs> <laughs> mm. 
for shit, you know? And then the next thing you know, life just throws a wrench in them, but you got to keep going. Next yeah. thing you know, you fall in love with a biracial You man. know what I'm saying? All you can do is keep grinding, my boy. Pause. That's what Diddy told Monty. <laughs> Take that, keep grinding, my boy. You can always talk about sucking dick. That's kind of gay. Oh. Yeah, well, keep your white shit out of this. <laughs> Gay black love, all right? Ah, uh, hell no. Nah. I don't know what. <laughs> I, I ain't with none of that gay shit. <laughs> I, was, I don't really love my daddy because it don't feel right. And that's my father. This is, this is broke boy mountain. Hell no. Nah. Ain't nothing broke. This is fixed mountain. Regular ass mountain. This motherfucker goes straight up and straight the fuck back down. Ain't nothing broke. Terrain is easy to just as the healthiest back mountain. Nigga, I've seen it in life. Nigga. Strong back mountain. Everybody help me. The fuck you all Last time I got a strong back mountain. Hell no. You're a sick man with all of the mountain we want to go to. Just don't go cabin with Monty. Just never do that. Uh, comment from the crowd. He isn't with any of that gay shit. He's a lesbian. <laughs> <laughs> I would much rather be that. You know what I'm saying? All right, y'all. Hold up, wait. Comment from the <laughs> crowd. money, cash, money, $20? Would you want to buy this motherfucker or something? <laughs> Try to riff, but I they for laugh the shit. Woo. But Woo. that's okay, because I'm by. Bye. I was thinking your song, Playboy. Y'all be too comfortable in y'all gayness. And then you're up here wearing sweatpants. Shut up about comfortable. <laughs> Look like you're gonna fall asleep watching Jeopardy. I'm comfortable as a man, though. As a grown-ass man. That like titties. <laughs> 
There's nothing wrong with titties. What happened to the love of just seeing a titty and just make a man be like, yeah, titties. I saw some titties at the store the other day. They was loose under a Hanes t-shirt. I had a great day of work after that. Thing. I was like, my, no, my day is made. They was loose, looked like two sweet potatoes. Okay, that's my time, man. left. Your next time to come to the stage, I think he's here. Maybe. We'll see. Uh, he came to my cookout show uh, on Monday, and I don't know why, but I know why he's here, because he signed up. Please give it up for Evan Fagan. <laughs> I was not expecting this. Yeah, I was in Philly this weekend. Lovely town. Uh, I saw my first pile of human shit right underneath a historical plaque on the side of a building. I feel like that's just a perfect microcosm of Philadelphia. You don't check your own shit after you shit? <laughs> the fir first... <laughs> Kale can't look down. Yeah. My like my neck owl. doesn't it doesn't work. No, that was my first out in the open, you know, out in the elements human pile of shit I've ever seen. Comment from um, the crowd. Is this the lady that last saw at the grocery store? <laughs> <laughs> That's funny as a bitch. <laughs> Sweet potato pie. <laughs> I keep my yams out at all times. Balls, bro. Free the yams. Yeah, we also went to New York, uh, saw the Mets game. I wanted to go to the Queens Night Market. I was a little disappointed. I thought it was going to be a night market ran by drag queens. Just bullying you into buying shit. Like, that's right, keep walking. You couldn't afford it anyway, honey. All right. Coming from Thank the you. Mass. Thank you. Is it... Okay, I want to settle this. Is it sleeves... Or sleaze. Uh. Sleaze. Sleaze. You don't want to be sleaze. Uh. No. That's way fucking cooler. No. No. What is sleaze? What is that? Sleaze, like like dirty, like sleazy. Sleazy. Yeah. Don't that sound like a slur? <laughs> Boy, that sound. That sound a little racial. To me. Get out of here, you sleaze. <laughs> Look at those fucking sleezes. <laughs> Every time those fucking sleezes come around. <laughs> if we're gonna I make it, damn if my daughter dates a sleaze. If we're gonna make it a racial slur, then hey, the Irish have it. The Irish? Yeah, because we have the lamest racial slurs. We have Mick. This is the start of our names. Oh, Mick? What's a Mick? Like Mick Irish. House? Uh, yeah, that's an Irish slur. It's an Irish slur. That's why I need, I want somebody to come up with a better slur for Irish Okay, people. let me ask this, white people. Okay, how y'all know, how can y'all look at each other and be like, oh, that's a, that's a Irish motherfucker. Let me call him a Mick. Like, how y'all just know that shit? Uh, well, there's also Polak for Polish people. Uh -huh. There's Wop for Italian. Dago. Y'all ready? Okay. Step up your white hate. I'm, hey, I'm just glad to see that y'all still have white hate into your heart. Let that white hate take you. Italians are white hate. Italians are basically the only ethnic group that it's like acceptable to be racist towards. <laughs> right now, I feel like they monsters and shit. It'd be yeah. <laughs> We were talking about the Amish mob earlier. Did you guys know there's a fucking Amish mob? Yeah. 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 I was just imagining like an Amish no-show job, just like a guy who has to sit there and do nothing while everybody else builds the barn. <laughs> He's just sitting there shaking. <laughs> I wish I would see an angry pilgrim. What the fuck is an Amish man gonna do to me? Uh, I think I hammers and shit. Man, I would shoot him so quick. The Amish can use electricity if it comes from a battery. When the AI start going off, that battery can't do shit for them. <laughs> Last time I'm pull up in the compound with a Hellcat. <laughs> Amish are probably gonna pull up with trebuchets and shit. 
They be throwing knives and shit. Spell Trebuchet. Lad has got a cousin named Trebuchet. T R E C H E T Trebuchet. She's doing wrong. She's not doing well. Right there. <laughs> Pray for my cousin, Monty. Don't talk about her. Right. That does kind of remind me of a fun fact that I learned when I was in Philly. Is uh, we we went to Independence Hall. We figured out the first immigration crisis in 1798 was they were worried about French people coming over to the country. Which, like, fair. If there's one, if there's one country, I feel like I'm comfortable blocking from coming to America. It's the French, right? Hell no! They brought their French toast and them fries over here. <laughs> Those are freedom fries. They locked the fuck in for help. Those are freedom fries. Remember the Iraq War. One minute remaining. Never forget the Iraq War. Do you think anyone was on the boat going to Ellis Island to beat their dicks to the Statue of Liberty? <laughs> I hope not, and I hope I hope if they did it, they were stoned to death. Uh, comment from the crowd. They were so homophobic against the French. Too much wee wee. <laughs> That's definitely a dumb roll there. French need not apply. A fucking sleaze roll dead. <laughs> I can tell them the fucking sleaze. It was misspelled. <laughs> we gotta do something about these fucking sleazes showing up everywhere. <laughs> Always showing up to the movies, talking, talking to. <laughs> <laughs> I'm indifferent to this because it doesn't affect it was, me. It was so much better when they had their own shit than we had our shit. <laughs> when I went to a water fountain, I wanted yeah. to see sleaze only. Right. <laughs> sleazes <laughs> to the back. <laughs> sleazes to the back. <laughs> Uh, and, then, and then I remember when Abraham Sleazen freed all the Sleazes. <laughs> <laughs> and then Martin Luther Sleaze got us, got Sleazes yeah. right. <laughs> All right, now it's getting racist. The Sleazeburg Address. <laughs> <laughs> the Sleaze on Washington. <laughs> the millions. I have a Sleaze. <laughs> <laughs> I have a Sleaze. <laughs> <laughs> the Million Sleaze March. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, sleeves. <laughs> Where my sleeves is at? Where my sleeves is at? <laughs> All right, am I? I'm close to time, aren't I? Over. All right, just like a sleeves would. <laughs> Fucking sleeves. I suppose was that a one more or was that get off? Sleeves, please. All right. <laughs> I've been, uh, I'll leave you guys with this, I've been hitting the gym recently, well, I've been hitting the gym, I bought a membership, haven't seen it yet, sure it's lovely, um, I joined Planet Fitness, Big Ups Planet Fitness, uh, <laughs> and you guys heard of the Lunk Alarm, you know the Lunk Alarm? Yeah, it's like an alarm that goes off if you make too much noise. One of my friends had a little bit of a Freudian slip the other day, he called it the Twink Alarm. <laughs> I was like, a gym in Richmond with a twink alarm? Nothing would get done. People would be staggering around. Ah! Make it stop! Uh, my name's Kale Moore. I've been working out. Left. Your next comic coming on stage, she's a very funny comic, a very good friend of the show. Please give it up for Charlie Way. Because you you were cruel to the French, <laughs> and I'm from, my middle name is French. I'm part French, so I, I hate people shit talk the French. First of all, the French invented sex, so you're welcome. Uh, oh. Also, the French rule, like fucking in France, if you make a French person work more than 15 hours in a week, they overthrow the government. <laughs> they fucking uh, rock. On, on, on. Kale, on, you, on, on. Kale, you forgot that Charlie was half. French Bulldog. <laughs> <laughs> ho, ho, ho! 
It's because my comedy is so tough and rugged. Uh, no, it's because you, you have breathing problems <laughs> and bad hips. Yeah, 3X Matthew. Uh, You're inbred. That's my dad. That's what they said. Yeah, you get it. Come you don't even know the inbred language. Okay, stupid. Coming from, come from the crowd, he looks like a live action South Park character. That's cool. <laughs> South Park, funniest show. No one, people never insult me, they give me compliments. Oh, you look like the funniest show? Thank you. You look like the best thing ever? Cool. <laughs> coming, coming from the crowd, Charlie looks like he likes the French for the fries. Uh, I yeah. do. Yeah, I do. Yeah, that's very, very funny. It's really hard to find a beret that fits him, though. Ooh. Uh, coming from the crowd, Charlie dropping Not Like Us, a wee wee version diss track about Kale. <laughs> Wait, I want to go back to the fact that Kale uh, made a joke about poor fitting clothes. <laughs> He's big and fat. All right. Uh, <laughs> this is a stylistic choice. <laughs> I want everybody to see my. What name. you want to look like the Pillsbury dough roll as it's busting at the seams? Uh, no, I'm going for full Michelin man. Oh, yeah. uh, counter for the crowd. Charlie looks like he bakes pizza. <laughs> <laughs> Coming from the crowd. What Charlie, is he, a ninja turtle? Charlie, coming from the crowd. Charlie has a teeny head. He looks like a sundae with a cherry on top. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, that was good. Coming uh, from the crowd. I bet you can pop Charlie's hair off like a Lego man. <laughs> okay. I've heard that one before. <laughs> uh, no. Uh, coming from the crowd. What about Haiti? <laughs> what about Haiti? The country? What, Haiti? What, what, what about it, brother? What do you mean, what about it? Another great, uh, a great... Hey, they wouldn't be there if it wasn't for the French. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> no, look it up. Um, it's a very smart joke, Charlie. There's a lot of history. Uh, Coming from the crowd, Charlie got little hands like an action figure. <laughs> <laughs> They're tiny. Uh, <laughs> we, should, we should both keep jars. I'll... I'll charge a dollar every time someone calls me Drew Carey, and you can charge a dollar every time someone calls you a Lego man. <laughs> I think Kale and I should uh, do a sumo wrestling match at some point. That would be fun. Yeah, I like the white version of Beat the Clumps. <laughs> Wait, what with the flu? Hercules! Hercules! <laughs> what would the fluid for our wrestling match be? Labot Blue? No, Narragansett. Sausage gravy. <laughs> <laughs> we would, if, if it was sausage gravy, we wouldn't fight. We'd just be eating it off the ground like pigs. <laughs> we just... <laughs> we pig just fight inside of Kale's hair like a monkey. <laughs> uh, We'd fight inside a giant pot pie. <laughs> <laughs> pot pie, that's my non-binary name. Yeah, uh, Kale, if Kale was a stripper, he would come out of a pot pie. <laughs> Coming my way out like an alien. <laughs> uh, Kale do look like Miss Piggy. Uh, One minute remaining. All right. Well, I've done no jokes. Yeah, uh, do a goddamn bit, Charlie. Uh, I'm, right. it. I'm tired of carrying you. You're heavy. Wow. Oh. The real Monty comes out. <laughs> oh, you look like a uh, like a country star. That's not funny, but uh, I was thinking it. I was. He looks like you know, like fake, not a cool country, like old men. Like he looks like he sings about red solo cups. He uh, looks like Blake Griffin Shelton. <laughs> yeah, I don't. Uh, um, comment for the crowd. Charlie looks like he's about to throw a paper onto his onto my stoop from his bike. Too much words. I look like a paper man. That's okay. No, I got it. It took a second. Looks like he'd fuck Miss Piggy. <laughs> yeah, that's the secret the whole time. I'm just trying to get in Kale's pants. <laughs> All right, that's my time. <laughs> Charlie is also on the, uh, the the Cowbell Jack Brown show tomorrow with me and a bunch of other funny comics. Please check that out at nine o'clock. Uh, we have two comics left, everyone. Your next comic on the stage. Uh, he's a little green around the gills, but he came here just to perform. Please give it up from the bell tower, Brian Frankenstein. <laughs> Lighting's 
gonna translate it. If you can't tell, Brian uh, put a bunch of paint on his face. Yeah, he took three highlighters and colored himself. He was actually white originally. <laughs> He's actually the villain from Sin City. <laughs> Fuck! Just about to say that. Well, like just about, he was gonna take his whole set stuttering and pausing. I'm and then say at the end, I'm not just cheating. No, 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 no. I'm, I'm, I'm pissed I'm, off. I'm pissed off. I'm okay? Come into the crowd. You can't let Brian Frankenstein in the pussy. He's the type to nut and bolt. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Everybody keeps calling me a uh, fucking yellow bastard. Gracious. From, uh, Shame from on you. Sin City. I'm depressed. Uh, yellow bastard, ironically, is my uh, stage name in Peterson. Petersburg. Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> fucking idiot, so stupid. <laughs> You look like a propaganda poster during the Vietnam War. <laughs> Yellow Bastard is my stage name in uh, Ferguson. Uh, you look like a booger. <laughs> Comment from the crowd, Brian looks like garlic bread. <laughs> Why are you wearing shower shoes? <laughs> child in a third world country. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm not doing You're that. part of a cargo cult. <laughs> You're a child rebel soldier. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'm not. These soldiers. I'm, I'm not doing well, guys. <laughs> Comment for the crowd. Brian looks like he ate a glow stick. <laughs> Everybody's... I'm mentally handicapped. <laughs> This is what happens when you vaccinate your kids. <laughs> Uh, Actually, this, this is true. Uh, this is true. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Earlier tonight, Mike Marr came up to me and was like, the first time I met Brian Fontaine, I thought he wasn't right in the head. <laughs> and then he said, and I still think that. <laughs> now, my... My father, oh, my, so go wake up my, my, my creator, his car, Mike Mars sleeping in his car, and it's in neutral. Someone go wake him up. My, my father, my creator, uh, Brian Frankenstein Sr. He was not a doctor. He doesn't. He's never read the book. <laughs> <laughs> Wasn't a doctor at all. But as a bit. He thought Mary Shelley was a SpongeBob character. <laughs> As a bit, that was a good joke. I don't give a fuck. Clip that, Silver. As a bit, Braddock laughed. My my father uh, created me with my uh, my penis removed, <laughs> and he actually. Uh, it, Put it up my ass. It's the Siamese joke. It's, it's not just the Siamese joke. It's not the Siamese joke. It's like a whole joke. He's obsessed with penis and the ass are yellow into the Siamese joke. He's obsessed with getting penises surgically repaired. Here, it's right, 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 right. Hold on, everyone shut the fuck up. Sleeves. Here's a little inside baseball. So Brian lives two houses down from me. He came over to my house at three o'clock. Like that. The show doesn't start until eight. I was like, why are you wearing that this early? He said, what do you mean, pal? <laughs> it was 85 degrees today. <laughs> Guys, it was hot. This thing up my ass. <laughs> Comment from the crowd, y'all are so loud. Bring back, bring back the twinks and lesbians. It, it still gets hard. <laughs> it's alive. Ow. Ow. This guy stinks. Let's bring some fire up here to scare him away. <laughs> no, that's my, uh... I also wanted to talk about that. <laughs> Yo, why do you hate fire so much? <laughs> because. <laughs> hey, Brian. <laughs> Brian. No, guys, seriously, shut up. You're always telling me never forget when it comes to 
I say never forget on the Great Chicago Fire. Hey, can you grab that lighter for me? That's my oh, lighter. Can you light it? Fucking dickhead. Can you light it in front of Ryan? You just throw it here. Oh. It, now it's broken. It broke. right. <laughs> Yeah, so look at that, look at that shitty throw. <laughs> Caught over the crowd, Brian looks like he killed John Lennon. Oh, it's just destroyed? Yeah. <laughs> Caught over the crowd, Brian looks like he thinks rocks are food. <laughs> Caught over the crowd, of course he's circumcised, he's a Frankenstein. <laughs> Caught over the crowd, uh, did someone burn up his joke book? One minute remaining. I'm mentally handicapped. <laughs> right. Now, I don't completely understand uh, physics or whatever, but what? Every, everybody wants to call me a monster. There was a little girl. Great, did you make the hunchback start laughing? She, she was. <laughs> I was enamored with this little girl. I... Uh. So beautiful. She's throwing the throwing, throwing the flowers into the lake, you know. What about when you met the blind man? <laughs> He's like, huh? <laughs> He's like, you're getting ahead of me. <laughs> I didn't get that page yet. He's like, hold on, I'm gonna read I was this movie already Frankenstein. Going, <laughs> I was already going there. <laughs> I was gonna make fun of a blind person also. <laughs> Shit. God, dude, you look like a banana. <laughs> I know. <laughs> when life gives you lemons, make Brian Fontaine. <laughs> so, so this little girl, Fontaine, wrap it the fuck up, Jesus Christ. Okay. Tyler is genuinely mad because uh, Matthew broke his lighter. Is <laughs> dickhead arguing up here? <laughs> Fucking dickhead thing to do. I'm, I'm, I'm so not that mad, but it was a dickhead thing to do. We're cool. I didn't break shit. <laughs> Brian Frankenstein, everyone! Get busy. All right, are you ready for your final comic of the night, everyone? It's been a long show. Let's wrap this bad boy up with your final comic. Very funny dude comes here all the time. Please give it up for CJ! Good hell right now, man. I'm glad to see Lamar Odom doing well. Oh. <laughs> man, uh, this is the first time I'm doing this. Uh, man, oh my goodness. So look. Let me get this one joke before y'all start talking shit, okay? God damn. Let me see if I can really do this. So look, I took the DNA test, right? You know, the ancestry. So I'm not gonna tell y'all everything that came back. I have a dream. <laughs> What's interesting is, <laughs> Yeah, I came back 1% European, right? And I'm like, what the hell part of me is 1% European, right? So I got big lips, I'm like, that's not it, right? I'm tall, I checked my dick side, I did measure my dick, and I'm well over average, so that wasn't it. So I'm like, what could it be? It dawned on me. I said, God damn. I grew up watching Star Trek, so I used to run around saying, beat me up, Scotty, and my mom be like, shut up, nobody's gonna beam you up. So that didn't do too well, but. <laughs> Yeah, so look, so I'm just getting started, man. I drive Lyft, right, you know, and I pick up some strange people, man. It's weird. I'm Are you one of those Lyft drivers that I tell you you should try stand-up comedy? Say again? I, whenever I get a Lyft over here, I'm like, oh, you should try stand-up. Are you one of those? I mean, I'm not one of those, but, you know. <laughs> but you are <laughs> one of those. <laughs> But look, so I he gets a lift to the fucking stand-up show, and then he's like, Oh, you do comedy? Hey, did you go to AA today? <laughs> oh, you do comedy? 
<laughs> you, said, you sound how you look, though. That's cool, though. You sound how you look. Though. That's, that's pretty cool. Damn right, CJ. Hey, does that run in the family, though? <laughs> he looks just like his grandpa. <laughs> His grandpa was a highlighter. <laughs> God, dog, man. Are you Spanish? What are you? It's been He's half troll, half Feliz Navidad. Feliz Navidad. <laughs> I'm made up of. Okay. So you're the making my show so good now. I'm, I'm a fucking Frankenstein. A who? A Frankenstein. Okay, all right, all right. Lollipop, okay. I, I don't know. What, what the heck? But anyway, so this. I am a Lyft driver, right? And I pick up some strange people every once in a while, man. So one day, I'm over in Mosby Court. This guy come running up to the car. He said, hey, man, he had a big old box all taped up. I said, you want me to put that in the back for you? He's like, no, nah, man, I got to keep it close. So he gets, in, he gets in the car, right? He gets in the car, gets on the phone, makes a phone call. He says, driver, like I don't have a name. So I said, yes, passenger, right? What's the ETA? I said, well, it's two hours and 45 minutes. He gets back on the phone and says, my driver says two hours and 45 minutes. He, there you go with that driver stuff again, right? So I'm like, two hours and 45 minutes is the ETA to the punchline. <laughs> <laughs> All right, you little lumberjack. Why you got that plaid shirt on, man? Come on, man. You're right. Please don't make me do suicides, coach. <laughs> there, there, there is no way you got those sneakers at a mall. Oh, wow. These are James. What? Now, you don't want to talk about shoes, Jesus. Looking like, you look like you got your disciple sandals on. I didn't, I didn't huh? get my fucking Jerusalem sandals at a mall. Jerusalem. How many steps does it take to get to Jerusalem with no sandals? <laughs> uh, air, you got air sandals on? Open sandals, my bad. Open sandals. Okay, cool. Closed sandals are called shoes. <laughs> you are you a mechanic? Am I? <laughs> you, you, you like you change oil. <laughs> Ten minutes and you're out. Ten minutes. I promise. You need an inspection sticker? I got you. <laughs> Alright man, look, I'm, I'm done man. I have fun. Hey, for real, this was an experience. I was I was sitting back there like, oh man, I gotta go last. I'm sorry that I Keep your up, brother, you gotta go to left. I got a minute left. I got a minute left. You're doing great. Give us a little bit, man. Alright, so I I'll try this joke, man. So growing up, man, I had a challenge, right? I was cross-eyed, right? So every time a substitute would come in, she would accuse me for cheating, right? And Gavin would stand up and say, no, that's Daredevil. He has a crooked eye. Time. Uh, the next Basic City Showcase is June 9th. That's a Sunday. The ticket link will be going up either tonight or tomorrow morning. Get your tickets online. It'll only be $5 online, $10 day of Please check that out, honestly. We have a very good lineup. You're not going to see all these comments on the lineup for just $5 again, I swear to God. All right. We love y'all so much. Thank y'all for coming out. Give it up for yourselves. All right. It's been our show. We'll see y'all next week. Let's go smoke weed in the parking lot. Yeah. It's on me.